Hey y'all, welcome back to The Ranch. I'm Jared Paul. Uh, last time we talked, I was on part one of two of the basement greenhouse, and we only had that one cold night with one frost at 34 degrees. So even though I brought in about 30% of my plants and trees, um, the rest is gonna stay out because this week is calling for very mild, 45 at the low. Some rain, high humidity, so I think that'll be really good. Uh, for finishing the growth of the season going into this fall slash winter season So what we'll do is we'll come back in a couple weeks when I'm sure it's gonna dip down cold again And we'll do the, the final video and the final setup of my basement greenhouse But for today I was inspired by my buddy Nigel and I'm going to transplant some of my uh, birch trees I grew from seed into a their first pre bonsai pot and then I'll give you a look at the other birch trees that I already have planted in a forest and a couple of singles. So that's all coming up on today's episode of Jarhead Bonsai. Just to uh, use today, it's a terracotta colored uh, plastic pot. I had a couple of holes drilled in it last year. It was actually a white pine Yamadori that failed and died over the winter, it was left outside. Either the roots just didn't uh, get strong enough before winter, or it was just too cold and windy and I let it dry out. One thing I'm noticing is this is, this looks like I probably took a lot of the soil I dug it up with and put it in here rather than my nice combination with perlite and other high quality uh, sediments. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna modify this by putting an extra hole here and here um, and then I might even put a few around the rim. I don't think the drainage was good enough. And today when we do this birch planting, I'm going to make sure we have really good soil. So this isn't the prettiest pot. It's certainly not their final destination, but it'll do for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill into it while it's over a slot and the rest is supported by the deck because I tend to what Laura calls Viking things, and I could break anything at any time using unnecessary strength, and I don't even think about it. So, anyways, <laughs> here we go. Right, y'all what i have here is a group of sweet birch trees that i grew from seed this past december 1st germinated as you know if you watch this channel a ton of different species of trees this was one of them that was successful so this is actually the pot that they started in so let's see how many we have uh, one two three four five six seven eight, nine, 10, 11. So you know what actually I think happened is I got a second growth out of these because you see there's some trees that are nice and thick, you know, for little seedlings. And now you see these, all these new little babies. And I remember there only being maybe five of these things. So yeah, one, two, uh, that one was here. Three, four, five six yeah like five or six of them grew way after the fact so that should make this planting interesting uh the the inspiration behind this is nigel just did a planting um, with his buddy up in canada and it was um a bunch of white birches i already have a forest planting it's uh growing the same uh same way same time of year so they're about i'll show you that a little later those are river birch this is my sweet birch. I got one white spire birch to grow and maybe a small handful of Korean birch. So I'm trying not to mix up the species as of right now. I only have that one white spire birch. So I thought, you know what? This would be a great time to do the second birch planting. Um, birch is one of my favorite deciduous trees. Obviously that white bark, uh, everybody loves. Uh, when I'm out paddling on the pond, 
this time of year or even in the summer, it's always so striking. You can pick out the birches and the weeping willows, um, you know, among everything. And so that's why I wanted to get a tons of a uh, bunch of different varieties. So here we go. We're going to get some soy. So, all right, y'all. So, not only am I complete here, but the sun is coming out. It wants to badly, and that'll be great because there's some afternoon rain and some new little plant things that need some sun. So, the aerial view here. This was a leftover little guy, so I said, what the heck, I'll throw him in his own little pot. I have nine trees. They were the nine largest in the main planting. I believe five of them are the original trees and you know you'll see they are decently thick and then we got some newbies with little buds and stuff and yes they are alive so it's not much to look at as a group planting yet um, but now they're gonna take the time and grow here um, and there are seven little babies in here so in total I had 17 sweet birches germinate five originally and then I guess just being outside in time some of them came out of dormancy and started growing so that was extremely exciting I had 12 more trees than I thought I was gonna be working with today all right so I'm gonna close it out I told you I wanted to show you the rest of my birches so here are my river birch this is my original group planting and that's with some uh, quartz rocks that I gathered there's a quartz mine uh, and a trail that I love around here and it has some river birches growing on top of it. It just looks so cool. So this is the start of something like that. And these are all set up. There are, let's see, two, four, five in this one. And then there's three American Arbor Vitae also grown from seed at the same time. And this little maple, he likes to look like he's gonna die and then come back, die then come back. I don't know that you could even see it, but that popped up this spring, so that would be really cool. Actually, it was more like late summer that thing popped up, so it'd be cool if that just grew up along with the rest of them. So that's nine trees in that group planting. This right here is my sole white spire birch. So you can see from December, that's grown pretty well. It's really getting a nice looking trunk. It's not white or anything yet. Um, but it's a nice healthy tree and then finally this is one of my Korean birches you see how different uh, this one looks this one has a gray trunk and when it pops up it almost looks like a semi-tropical totally different from the others 
I guess now, obviously, I'm seeing the resemblance, but definitely different from the rest. All right, y'all, so that's going to do it from the ranch today. I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did, go ahead, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get a lot more coming from Jarhead Bonsai. I'm Jared Paul. Have a great day, y'all.